Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the instr function. It is identical to the Excel find function um, with a couple minor variations. So let me just show you what the find function is. So I have in here a string, which is um, some X's and some P's, and I'm looking for a P. So if I was to come in here and go equals find, I'm going to want to look for this P, and I'm going to look inside of this and I'm going to start on 1 and that's going to give me 9 which is the uppercase P. Now it will, um, if I change that to a lowercase it will find the earlier one because it is case sensitive and I will show you there's a couple um, ways that you can do that with your instr function um, but that's basically what we're doing today. So first thing we're going to do is get into our VB Visual Basic Editor. To do that you can hit Alt F11 you can also go to your developer tab and click here. You can also go to uh, view macros and go view macros and then do a new macro. Where Since I'm already in it, I'm going to go ahead and click on book one, which is the book that I'm currently in. You'll notice it's right there and it's right there. We're going to click module. We're going to add a module. We're going to call this macro sub instr macro. Now I've got some code sections that I'm just going to add in and we're going to walk through each one. The other thing is this matches very closely to the Microsoft MSDN so I'm going to put that in here as well. That's this little, uh, this little guy right here. Let me drag it in. So this is a uh, really good view of what this the instr function is. So you've got it's a little different as far as syntax, so you've got your start starting in the beginning, then you've got your string expression, which is the expression being searched, and then what you're searching, and then you have some different compare options. So we're going to go ahead and look at the code that we put in. Since I have it all in here, I'm just going to hit F8. Now the first thing we're going to do is we declare these variables, so those are all declared. Um, we're going to put our search string. Our search string is in range F9, F19, excuse me. So when I hit F8 in here, it's going to pull it, pull that in and pull that into that variable. Now my search character is in F20. It's going to be right there. So you'll notice when I highlight, it gives me that P. So now I'm going to do a textual comparison starting in position 4, which is right there. So that's we're starting at 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to be starting at this X. And I'm looking for P. And it's going to return 6. So that's the return right there. I went ahead and put that in there. Now we're going to do a binary comparison. So we're looking for, um, we're, again, we're looking for P. We're starting in 1, and it's going to return, it's actually going to return a 9. Now, the difference between these two, and typically when I do a search, I'm not doing case sensitive, and all case sensitive is is, if it's a capital, it must match a capital. So if you're doing a case sensitive comparison or a case sensitive search, you're going to actually look for, you're going to put in a zero in here because that's going to actually return this P right here, which is the first capital P after your start string. So if we keep going in here, we're going to do a, um, if we keep going, we're going to hit F8 again. This again is going to return 9 because we don't have, um, we actually took out the defaults. So we took out the start, start and the return. So that's going to do a case sensitive. And then this one right here, this is important because if, if it searches and it doesn't find anything, it's just going to give you a 0. So anytime you use in, in the instr function and it returns a 0, that means that it's not found. Now the other cool thing is if you wanted to come in here and change this to, you wanted to change this to an X and then a P, and we came in here and we're going to just go ahead and hit stop. I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to hit F8. And the only reason I'm hitting F8 is because it, it goes line by line, so it's easier to see what it's doing. So again, we're, we're changing our search characters to an XP. Now you'll notice that this gave me a 5 because I started in 4 so it's going to give me this one. This one is going to give me 
2, because it's going to find that first one. This one is also going to give me 2. And this is obviously going to give me 0, because it disappears. Now you'll notice I'm putting that back in the sheet just to see, just to show you how to kind of take stuff off the sheet and put it back on the sheet. That is a breakdown of the instir function in VBA. I hope you enjoyed. If you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Have a great day.